is in Matthew chapter 15. You can actually turn there if you have a Bible for that one. Matthew chapter 15. And again, I'm not going to take long here. We're just going to share this with you and then we're going to get right to ministering to you. Chapter 15 and then verse 21. It says, Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. Notice everybody that said that got healed. You ever notice that? Everybody that said that to him, I'm not, I'm not trying to create a, you know, a formula, but I'm just saying that everybody that ever came to him that it records they got healed, they were always saying that. Now, other people said other things, and they got healed too. But I noticed that everybody said that always got healed, or they got what they came for. I'll put it that way. So here he says, <clears throat> the woman is saying, Have mercy on me, o, o Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. But he answered her not a word, and his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cries after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now, you have to notice how specific Jesus was. <clears throat> because here he's saying, I'm not responding to her because she's not an Israelite. She's not a Hebrew. Why? That means she's not in the covenant. But we have to remember that the reason Jesus came first to the Jew was because of the covenant that God made with Abraham. And so he had to fulfill that. So he said, I've got to go to the Jew first because this woman of Canaan would have been considered technically a Gentile at that, at that point. And so he was not able to go to the Gentiles. That's why when he gave the command to his disciples, he said, uh, don't go to the Gentiles. He said, go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And he sent them throughout Israel. But then in Matthew 28, when he gave them the Great Commission, he said, go into all the world. Why? Because the gospel had already been brought to the Jew and now it was time to spread it to everybody else. So they already had first dibs on it and they kind of passed it up. And so now he said, now we can spread it to everybody. Amen? So he was keeping covenant. People say, well, why would he do that? That's just mean. No, it's covenant. And God had to keep his covenant with Abraham and Jesus had to be that nitpicky, if you want to say it. He had to be that specific because You'll notice too, think about this. <clears throat> the, whenever the Roman centurion came to him, and I actually had a person ask me this uh, last week when we were doing uh, a seminar. They said, how come Jesus responded to a Gentile, the Roman centurion, and said, I'll come and heal your servant whenever the, here this woman says, it's my daughter. And he said, nope, I'm not sent, but for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And so they said, aren't these two people the same? Yes, the two people are the same. Now, you have to remember the woman of Canaan, it was her daughter who was also not an Israelite. But a Roman centurion's servant would have been an Israelite. Do you understand? And, and amazingly, this Roman centurion, because at that time, the only servants the Romans had were the Jews, especially in Israel. And so they would take the servants, they would take the Israelite young men and use them as servants and that's what he was doing so when he came to him that that was the application there so that's why Jesus jumped at the chance to go heal this Jewish boy this Jewish servant but refused to heal the Canaanite woman so hopefully that'll clear up you know you won't think Jesus was quite as mean as some people try to play him out to be so anyway now but now notice he says here um, in verse 25 then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. So now notice she's there crying out. He didn't answer her. His disciples, now obviously there's a distance between them. The disciples come and say, send her away. Right? She cries after us. He said, I, I can't do this. Uh, I'm sent for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And apparently while they're standing there, she comes up to him. So he doesn't go to her. She goes to him. Amen. And he says, she came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meat or right to take the children's bread and cast it to dogs. Now, if we didn't go any further, that'd be enough. Because here we know, and she said that she, her daughter had a devil, which means she probably also had a sickness that came from that devil. Okay? Could have been many things. But here he said, It is not right to take the children's bread and give it to dogs. So he's saying, What you're asking for is the children's bread. Which means, since we are children 
of God now. That means this is our bread. Amen? So what is our bread? Healing, deliverance, freedom. That's our bread. What did he tell us to pray? Give us this day our daily bread. This is part of that bread. Amen? So today, you get to receive yours. Amen? Now, watch. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. 